Hi and welcome to the Geek Legion of Doom. This is a big movie review and I'll be having a look at the movie Spring Break Shark Attack. So given that title, you're bound to have certain connotations and, and preconceived ideas when, when you go into this film. And I did as well. I thought this is going to be one of those crappy like uh, Malibu shark attack or Jersey Shore shark attack, which is just going to be CGI sharks eating unconvincing actors. And I'm here to tell you I'm, you're actually wrong about this film, because I think it's pretty decent. It isn't perfect, and there are some issues with it, which I'll come on to in just, a, in just a bit. But for these sort of more modern, sort of, sort of fairly cheap sort of shark films that you get, I have to say this one I think is above average. So the story really focuses on a, a young girl who's not really a party girl as such, but she's kind of gets talked into going to a, a spring boat with some of her friends. And yes, there's plenty of beach bods here, lots of uh, women in bikinis and hunky blokes and all of that. Um, so she meets this uh, this group of like uh, um, two or three friends and uh, you know, just staying, staying in this kind of like villa or whatever. And just coincidentally, her brother's also in the area and he's a little bit older and he's sort of doing this study on the um uh, sort of the uh, this oceanography and then what they've done the like the the people who run this beach area have built like an artificial reef and his her brother is worried that it's going to act sort of bring in um more tropical fish and that's in turn going to bring in sharks and of course he's right hence the heart hence the um title of this film so uh so these the these girls there you know uh most of them there they're just at a party now, the, the kind of the main character, the main female, she sort of meets this sort of um, guy who works like a, a, a fisherman, sort of tall guy type guy, not really a sort of a party type himself. And they sort of have a little bit of a romance. In the meantime, they're sort of chatted up by these two sort of like player types, sort of sharks in their own right. So you can kind of set up for this like a, this sort of group of young people and everything. Now, in spot between all this, there actually are a few shark attacks that sort of happen. Um, now there's no survivors, so no one really knows what's going on. Um, now there'll be a little bit of a minor spoiler here. What what actually is is, is happening is um, a guy from like a rival beach, because they built this sort of like uh, sort of fake reef and everything. It's it's basically making all the sort of business go to this beach and not the one that he he was sort of working on. So what he's doing is actually sort of chumming the waters. To sort of try and bring sharks there, sort of scare people off and get them to go over his own, you know, to his own beach. Uh, sooner or later, obviously, the sort of the, the sort of group of people ultimately become aware that there's there's sort of sharks in the water. Ask when they go out in the boat one day and they're attacked in quite a, in, in quite an in, sort of a tense scene, I have to say. Um, then they find some a body of uh, someone else who was who was attacked earlier on, and uh, you know. Basically, a panic in to sort of find out what's what's going on, what's causing these shark attacks. Ultimately, sort of culminating in um, you know a, a mass shark swarm sort of attacking the beach, full of the, all these spring breakers, and then the sort of uh, the subsequent attempts to sort of get rid of it. And that to me is where the film falls down a little bit. So this, I really enjoyed this film, maybe apart from the last twenty minutes. So if I could talk about the first section first of all, now. The acting, I'd say, is for the most part, most part acceptable. Um, I think that everyone does their job pretty well. There's maybe a couple of not so quite performances, but generally speaking, I, I was actually perfectly fine with the actors. You've also got some um, some more established actors like Brian Brown sort of shows up uh, in, in a sort of a limited role. So there is actually some reasonable acting pedigree in here, but for the most part, the main characters uh, are, are pretty decent and do their jobs pretty well as well. And they're kind of... Um, the main character, the main girl, you know, she's quite a likeable character, and her kind of romance seems sort of quite believable. This sort of this local lad, and the shark attacks themselves, generally speaking, are, you know, are pretty decent. I mean, they they were they were quite exciting. They use many practical effects and sort of actual footage of of real sharks as well. Uh, very very little CGI in this film, and that's what that's what I really liked about it because I just don't think that it, it looked very good when, in shark films. And I've seen a fair few, and you can just see some other reviews on my channel. But for the most part, these shark attacks look pretty decent. Now, they do swim a little bit slowly, I have to say, these sharks. They do seem to, seem to take a lot of time to sort of go from one place to another. But, you know, I'd rather have uh, reasonable effects than, than, than that. So the actual sort of first three quarters of this film, really enjoyed it. You know, reasonable acting, good, good shark attacks for the most part, for the budget at least. 
Um, then we come to the, the last quarter of this film, and this to me is where it fell down a little bit, because it kind of goes into a little bit more of a um, an up the ante sort of cliche fest, where once, once of course, our, our sort of main group of heroes realise what's going on, this is where all the sort of sharks are sort of attacking en masse, and uh, they, they, you know they're, they're killing a lot of people in the water, uh, and then they sort of have the idea these people to sort of to try and lure the sharks away by sort of chumming the waters. And I thought, well, to be honest with you, there's already lots of blood in the water where they've been sharks have been eating all these other people. So I don't know if that if that would have really worked. To be honest with you, just by putting sort of fish guts in the water to try and drag them away with the sort of the smell of the blood and what have you. There's plenty of blood already in the water, so I don't think that's realistically would have worked. I mean, you know, we're talking about a low budget shark film here, so I don't know how sort of realistic we kind of want to get with it. Um, but there you go. I mean, it, it kind of goes into, they you know, obviously draw the sharks, the just sharks away um, after they've obviously killed a good few many people and, you know, attacked a lot more. Uh, and then kind of like the, the, the climax where they they have to sort of try and get out alive themselves. I won't, I won't go into what actually happens there. But, you know, it, it's... Yeah, that, that scene itself, the very last sort of scenes, was, was fairly exciting as well. A little bit um, sort of stereotypical about what happens, I have to say, but still, a little, you know, fairly tense. And I like this sort of the idea that a lot of these films, the sort of the guy who was ultimately responsible for it, ends up getting killed, and he doesn't in this film, which is which was quite good. So I, I actually quite enjoyed this film a lot, lot better than I thought it was than I thought I would. I mean, just the name itself is it kind of put me off, and you know. Um, fair enough, I shouldn't have judged by the book by its cover, but you know, it does have its problems. It is, you know, that last sort of quarter, I would have loved it to have been a little bit different and it's kind of maybe continued with how, with how the sort of the the theme went on the, the, the first three quarters, it would have been a lot better, in my opinion. But there you go, I suppose they needed to up, up the ante for whatnot. So I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten, which is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be because I was sort of dreading reviewing this one, I had put it off for a while, but I'm glad that I reviewed it now. Uh, anyway, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of it, and what's your sort of favourite low-budget shark film? See you later.